So live coverage coming up, but the look of Group 7 has changed during the course of the afternoon, with the Republic of Ireland held to a goalless draw by Poland in Dublin. Disappointing for Jack Charlton, good for England though, and if they get the right result in Izmir, they'll take over at the top of that group today. Here in the European Championship, in Izmir, playing a little over 14 minutes. The uh, shot by Ogun, comes to be blocked. No score. It's well taken by Unal. Shot rather earlier than he needed to. And the precious little part. Really is a major bonus for uh, England and Graham Taylor. The result in Dublin, you haven't already heard it, uh, the Irish were held scoreless. 0-0 draw by Poland. Gives England a chance of going to the top of the group. A chance to do something about the goal difference too. Wise is cross. And Barnes with the shot. For again looking a little static and peering. Walker. Nice touch. Dixon. Saw his chance. Committed the three probe. Just played it a bit too long. The idea was good. And now they're trying to use the space that he's left. Walker coming on Ridvan. And Gary Lineker gets back to make the challenge. He's got to do it again. It's come again to Ridvan. And it's blocked. And Lineker finally gets it away. And England in a bit of a state then. And it really all came from uh, the attempt to get forward by Lee Dixon. But by playing the ball too far forward, he left the gap behind. Seaman will be very happy to have that in his hands. Fierce. Barnes ahead. Smith. Barnes. There's a gap down the middle for Barnes. If he takes on the sweep, and he does, a real chance for John Barnes. He doesn't finish what he started. He wants the corner. He's not going to get it. But it was a very, very good break, and he'll be disappointed not to have got it on target after making use of the room that opened up in front of him. Superb layoff by Alan Smith. Unselfish. And there, John Barnes, typical Liverpool run, wasn't it? Far side from the kicker, the near side from our viewpoint. Lineker, Platt and Smith, the others in the area. And it's won by Pallister. And Wise, has it gone? Yes, it has. And little Dennis Wise, it wasn't a classic goal, but he won't mind about that. The ball won by Pallister in the air, and Wise managing to get a part of his small frame on the end of it make sure that it went over the line. It was a classic bobbler, I think, wasn't it? Uh, Gary Pallister's height there to get in that first touch, and I thought he might have headed it, Dennis Wise. Went to hit it with his left foot. Well, I think it, the goalkeeper hit him, and it came back off either his arm or his knee or something. I'm sure he's not complaining, whatever it was. Ogun has joined the others up front. And Tanju! Well, it was a chance for a man who was once the winner of the Golden Boot for the top scorer at club level for his club, Galatasaray. Wasn't Mark, couldn't direct the header. Lineker. Good play. Stuart Pierce. Smith came off the woodwork and a great stop. Denies Jeff Thomas becoming the second debutant scoring in this match. Wonderful run though by Stuart Pearce. Involved twice in the move, got in the cross. Smith up onto the woodwork, and it's Thomas who hits it, does well to keep it down, and the goalkeeper turns it over. Little nod on, and the goalkeeper in extremis again. But again, gets the benefit of the referee's whistle. Three against three here. Offside. I think it's Van. It won't count. There will be a roll, but it's not going to count. The flag has been up long since. The combination of the England three doing the job. Nullifying the threat. <laughs> but Ruth Van wanting to go on and put it in the net. I think he knew it wasn't going to count.
bump it into field by uh, Stuart Pierce. Three coming from the left. And a rather strong shot way offside. He came back off the woodwork, but way offside. And three men then who were clearly offside. Smith's cross, and here's Lineker. Good save. Very, very good stop. That was a follow-up. Barnes was able to quicken the pace sufficiently to get to the ball, but that really was a very good stop by Hyrett in the second fine save he's made in this match. The first was from Thomas, and the second there denying Gary Lineker his 40th goal for England. Tripping cross by Alan Smith, and uh, Gary Lineker selling the dummy as if he was going to head the ball, chested it, and hit it on the half volley. Probably from the goalkeeping point of view, just a nice height. He has his first pass, was not memorable. Walker gets forward, don't often see that. Smith, Walker, Wise, knock off the ball, unfairly. By Unal. Those are the few smiles on the bench. Maybe somebody said pick on someone your own side, it would be difficult. This is uh, Lineker. Useful cross, Smith, and again Smith, the goalkeeper in two minds, still loose, put away by Ogun. Yeah, unlucky, Alan Smith, because it was one of those, it went up in the air, and it, when it's hanging up there, you've got to sort of make your own power, as you can see. All comes over from Dennis Wise, the first header goes off the back of the defender, and then you've got to almost head it, get to the power, didn't quite time it, and uh, just drift, the goalkeeper scrambled away. And the defence scrambled away from the corner. Crowd's roar increases. And this is Ridvan. And he's got away this time from Walker. Seeming to narrow the angle. He's inside. He's doing too much. Or is he? Yes, he is. Walker got back to him. Having made the gap, the angle may not have been as good as he would have wished, but surely he should have attempted it. Didn't make it properly. Sanju wanted to turn. Piaz is over the top. And a real opportunity for the Turkish team. So you have to say, Trevor, have been the better side by quite an amount in the second period. Well, we've lived terribly dangerously. A good clip cross in there. Piaz, they only had to hit it down a fraction lower. Barnes, and the West German referee blows the final whistle, and at the end of the day, England's position in the European Championship qualifying has greatly improved, but their victory by the only goal scored by Dennis Wise in the 31st minute here was a far from convincing one.